So hey you guys, this is Glamazante and I am back with another video and as you guys can see today's video is going to be on this gorgeous bomb color and the install as well. So if you guys are interested definitely stay tuned. So first things first, this hair is from Mega Look. And of course, they gave me a little goodie bag inside with like an elastic band to hold down my edges. This is so pretty, like one of my faves. Then they actually gave me the wig, of course. And this is like a third burgundy skunk stripe wig. It's about 26 inches. It's 13 by six lace. And the color is like a red wine. So that's like the number 99J. And then it has a little skunk stripe and it was like a honey blonde color, but I actually ended up toning it. Now, this is how the wig came i did very very minimal plucking so y'all know that's like a favorite of mine because girl y'all know i cannot stand plucking hair so we have a new little install so i'm gonna tell y'all how i do my new installs and also i had a little mishap in this one so y'all really gonna <laughs> y'all gonna learn from my mistakes honestly i ain't even gonna hold you so first things first y'all know i love to use my stocking caps like that's my new thing i do not like to use wig caps anymore because they are extremely too thick also, I've been seeing some people um, selling like ultra thin wig caps. I haven't been able to get my hands on one because every time I try to, they're sold out. So as of right now, I do like to use my knee highs or my pantyhose or my stockings because they're just a lot more sheer and it's way, way easier for the ball cap method to actually adhere and just blend in. Now, with this wig cap, I had went and bought a series of stocking caps, I mean, clearly. So with this one, you can see it's a little darker. Y'all can see that. So let me tell you, I'm a girl. It was actually a little mishap with it because it had too much color on it. Now, when I like to do my little ball caps or my little, you know, caps, I like them to be pretty sheer, pretty transparent, or just very similar to my color, um, but not too much pigment. But with this one, I should have knew when I was applying it, it was too much pigment, but we're going to get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and use my bowl hold. And when I tell you this is like my favorite glue, love this bowl hold. Um, it's the only one that works for me. I really don't like Ghost Bond that much. <laughs> so y'all know they're pretty similar because people always ask me my preference in glue, but bowl hold it normally is. So I go ahead and put my first little layer. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm getting to it. And I'm using the little edgy brush that Mega Look actually sent me. And it's super easy. We're just spreading out the glue and making it very thin so that it can dry. So I'm going to let this one little layer dry down now. I'm going to wait until it's like pretty transparent, clear, as you guys can see. And then I'm like, okay, it's time to cut it off. When I cut it off, this is exactly what it looked like. It was so dark. So I'm like, I know this wig cap ain't come out this dark. So I'm like, let me put the wig on and do a test. This is how you always test to know what your wig gonna look like. Put the cap on, you can clearly see that demarcation line. So if I had cut that off, I was like, uh-uh, that wasn't gonna look right. So I had to take it off, literally put another sheer cap on, and then I coated it with my tan glow from um, Sally Hansen. It's like a leg spray. And then I did the whole glue thing again as well. And this time I knew it was going to lay better. You can just see how much lighter it is around where the glue area is. And then I'm going to go ahead and coat the wig. Now, since it is blonde, I don't really want to spray a lot on the inside. I prefer to use the brush. Um, but I've been doing this for so long that I know not to spray that hard so it doesn't go all the way through because if you spray hard it will go through the lace and come up on the hair and then you got to get off the hair so you know we didn't have those problems but girl look how much better that's laying like girl i was like uh-uh this wig ain't about to zoom me like that now because you know i didn't want those type of problems so of course i'm gonna go ahead and put the wig back on and i'm gonna see if it's gonna lay better and voila it looks so much better please do this step when you're applying your wigs because i promise you you do not want the ball cap to be showing through because that's just defeating the purpose all in all you know what i mean so i definitely did minimal plucking with this wig as i told you guys before and you guys can use my code and get 20% off. My code is MYTB20 and that's over $169 off on the wig. Okay. And the wig comes about like, you know, 300 some dollars, but go ahead and use my little code and you can get you a little deal. So after I put that on, I'm like, okay, it's, it's working out. So I'm just going to put a little layer of glue. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and put another layer of glue. Depending on how long you want your wig to lay is how many layers of glue. Typically, I'll change my wigs once every week and a half, 
two weeks is pushing it. I ain't even gonna hold you, but once every week and a half. So I do do two layers of glue. One I let dry completely, and then the other one I kind of let it get a little tacky, and then I go back through. Now I'm gonna use my little hot comb. This hot comb is from Kendra's Boutique. I told you guys this is my favorite one. Eric and Tay recommended it to me. I love it. I haven't switched up ever since. And I've had this hot comb for about two to three years. I believe I paid 60 something or $70. It definitely well worth it. Still holding on. And y'all know it got the diamonds. So clearly I'm, I'm into it. Okay. So I'm going to let y'all rock out a little bit. I ain't going to do too much talking and I'm going to come back in a minute. Okay, so y'all see I pulled it down. Now this time I wanted to do something a little different by holding the wig down and then just actually using my blow dryer to get it a little bit more tackier. And then I'm gonna use another knee-high pantyhose to hold it down. Sometimes when I use other things of material that is fabric, it'll get on the lace. So when I'm doing an initial install, I definitely will use like, you know, a little pantyhose or stocking cock and just pull it up. But once I'm going to like go to bed and stuff like that, then I actually will use other materials such as the elastic band they sent or a scarf or stuff like that. Now I'm going to take my scissors and go ahead and cut off the little bit of access. Now you guys see it's a little bulky at the top. I'm just going to peel that back a little bit in the front and put a little bit of glue there and then just lay it right back on down. Um, Typically that works for me. Sometimes if I'm doing a natural shape of a wig, you can't get it all once at the same time. So you have to get the base glued and then just give the little extra pieces because it's not, you don't want it to be really straight across. So it's going to be like, you know, zigzag type of vibes. And I hope y'all are understanding me because I'm trying to go in detail, okay? Next, I'm going to use my new favorite spray. Swear by it. It's the Even Hairspray. My homegirl told me about it ever since I've been in love. It's so it's so strong, but yet if you want to take it off, you can literally put water on and it'll dissolve. But I love it. It definitely is done the ultimate melt. All the YouTube girls is going crazy over it. They let them some even. I love me some even too, period. So I'm going to go ahead and do the style. Now with this hairstyle, it did, well, yeah, this wig, it pretty much had like a lot going on. So I was like, you know, I don't think I want to do too much with the styling i think i just want to rock out you know what i mean so i just went and pulled it back and did a little swirl you know and i'm just going to take it off but ultimately i'm just going to press the hair straight that's my whole goal here is to press it straight and you see i just pulled it off and it was a little sticky on it but it didn't do no residue onto the lace that's what we want pretty much that's what we want so yes i'm just going to go ahead and straighten my hair and i don't i'm not going to style this wig except for doing like a little half up half down turned out effortless it was really pretty and really cute but you know let's do a breeze to a me pressing it here then to solidify i'm going to go ahead and use my hairspray just spraying it on the top after everything is laid this wig actually straightened really good i did not use any serum that's why i didn't show y'all no serum i used did I use it? No, I didn't use any serum. I don't think so. And then I just pretty much made sure I laid it again with the hot comb. And my part wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be, but I also didn't feel like it needed to be plucked anymore. So I just went through with a little bit of my concealer to make it bring it out a little bit and rub it in because I don't want no harsh, skinny line. Now, this is another salon secret I learned. This is another one, I promise. So with your wigs, if you cut off the bottom of it, because I used to never do this, but if you just cut off the bottom, not even much, but just a little bit to make it even, that's how you get that look that them Instagram, the Instagram girls be having. Literally, they just trim off the bottom of it, and it just makes it look so much more cleaner. It makes the wig look a lot more expensive. It looks a lot more lavish. Honestly, I, you know, I kind of did a little janky because it's just me, but... When you do that look, I promise, it just makes it look better. That's why it looks so clean, finished. It looks bomb, okay? Period. Now, I'm going to use my EAP Little Curling Iron. Love this thing down. So, I'm not doing no baby hairs. I don't want to do baby hairs. I feel like doing baby hairs is going to, like, it do too much. I just want to do a cute little sideburn, cute little side curl, and that's it. And it laid, period. But I also ended up using the even spray to lay the curl down. So, it is a wig spray, but I used it as a little adhesive for my curl you know and it, it worked really really good so i was like yes that looks so bomb and this is the hair it looks so good i also did my eyebrows a little red so you know let me know what y'all think about that because i might do them brown next time but 
definitely turned out really bomb. I, honey, everybody was loving my hair. It was like, oh my God, so cute. Oh my God, so different. Yes, y'all see it. It gave. But if you're interested in this wig, definitely click the link in my bio. I have it all linked below, as well as using my coupon code so you guys can get an extra 20% off, okay? And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. It won't be too long until it comes. And I love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Mwah.